Dear Emily, we've been counting the days down to this day for what seems like years and years. Time has been moving so fast and we're here now. The last couple weeks we've been trying to move into our new place, plan this wedding, manage our businesses and work, and take care and spend time with our families. I apologize if I mess this up or say anything silly, but I still get nervous around you sometimes, especially when you look as beautiful as you do now. It means everything to me and it has since day one. I was a little emotionally damaged when we met. Just a little. You were always there. Plus, you love damaged things and helping to make them the best versions of themselves. I think that's why you love thrifting at Goodwill so much. Mm -hmm. From the days of long and late movie nights, binge eating junk food, whenever I came back home from college to see you and my family, watching every episode of The Office in order with me, mm -hmm. talking to me every day, either FaceTime or texting, and our many weekend dates in my old truck. You were always there to support and make sure that we both prioritized our relationship. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Don't cry because you're crying. <laughs> I'm trying not to, I'm trying to hold it together. Oh my gosh, you look so pretty. Hey. You make gotcha. me cry. Your dress is so pretty. Thanks. You weren't kidding about the princess vibes. It looks so pretty. right? Oh, good. pretty good. You've shown me how it feels to be truly loved and cherished by another person. I've never once questioned if you love me. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> Louis believes in you too. I know. You call me beautiful like it's my name. <laughs> Love with you is everything I've ever dreamed of and more. I have good lines, I have to not cry. You're good, you're doing good. That mascara is not running. It's waterproof, okay. <laughs> you're good. Um, love, oh, I already did that line, my bad, okay. You make my life feel like I'm in a romantic comedy. The comedy part had to be added because you can't be sweet for too long without making fun of my laugh. I won't make you promises I can't keep, like I promise to stop interrupting you when you talk, because we both know that'll never happen. No, no. I won't promise you that we'll never fight, because we will but I do promise that every fight will end with I love you and a resolution because you taught me how important it is to never stay angry and to always speak our feelings out loud. These rings that I hold in my hand are of precious metal. May the love that Jake has for Emily and that Emily has for Jake be the most precious possession of your heart. Each is a circle that's unbroken. May your love for each other over the years to come be both unbroken and everlasting all your earthly days. Emily, as a token and a pledge that you will faithfully perform your vows, will you receive and wear this ring. Yes. Jake, indicating your responsibility to Emily to receive her into your care and keeping, you may place that ring on her finger as a token and in pledge that you so receive her as your wife and you are to encircle her life with strength and protective love. Mm -hmm. You're so cute. Your nails are great. Thank you. Jake, as a token and a pledge that you will faithfully perform your vows, will you receive and wear this ring? I will. Emily, indicating your responsibility to Jake to receive him into your care and keeping, I give you this ring that you may place it upon his finger as a token and in pledge that you so receive him as your husband. You are to encircle his life with affection and tenderness. <laughs> to show this union, 
uh, that they here make this covenant involving God the Father in their marriage. And so they're going to use this cord of three strands, and I'm going to get out of the way and let them uh, do what they're going to do here, and uh, I'll be speaking a bit of this. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, bestow upon Jake and Emily your blessing. Father, grant them the grace to fulfill with pure and steadfast devotion those solemn vows that they have this day made. Give Jake and Emily a clear vision of your purpose for their life as husband and wife. And by the encouragement of the Holy Spirit and the study of Holy Scripture, may these two live together with one heart and one mind. May they grow in their love. May they grow in their commitment. May their home be the recipient of your tranquility and your love. Give Jake and Emily grace to raise their children in godliness and Christ-like character guide their steps and protect them through all danger spare them father to each other in health and joy and use them i do pray to your glory through jesus christ our lord amen for as much as jake and emily have pledged to each other their fidelity and love in the sight of god and before this gathering of family and friends i therefore by the virtue of authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and by the state of North Carolina, I hereby pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, whom therefore God has joined together that no man put asunder. Emily, you may kiss your husband. <laughs> Thank you.